Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to install WordPress on your domain name from your C panel. That's your control panel. So I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. So first of all, first of all, when you open your C panel, you just look for the Subtaclos app installer. Under that, you're going to see a lot of apps that you can install on your domain name. So let's see how we can install WordPress. So I have a domain name which I've already added. If you don't know how to add a sub domain or an add-on domain, then you can check my channel for that. I have some videos on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can install WordPress. So first of all, under Subtaclos app installer, just click on WordPress. When you click on WordPress, it's going to open the WordPress, the Subtaclos dashboard for you. And you can see some of the sites you've already installed WordPress on. But just go ahead and click on install because you want to install a new one. So just go ahead and click on that. Click on install now. And then select the domain name you want to use. So in this case, I have a new domain name which I'm going to install on it. So I have to select that from the list. So this is the domain name I'm going to use. And then also the protocol, you can select the one of your choice. If you have the SL installed, you can pick any of the last two. So I prefer this and leave every other thing the same. And then you need to set up your admin username and then the password. That is basically what you're going to use to log on your website and also set up email that you constantly receive updates regarding your site. So you have to provide that, provide a password that you use and just go ahead and then click on install. In my case, I'm going to enter the username I prefer to use. So I'll just type the username and then the password. But that is, should be your secret. So just make sure you don't expose that to people to see in order to be able to access the back end. So just type the username and password. So I'll do that. I'll type my own. Some selected plugins that you need to install. I'll just enable the classic editor, which I know I'll be using more often. I'll just enable that. Then when I go down, I can click on install. There are some pre there are some already selected templates you can pick from. Okay, you can pick any of these themes and then install direct. But if you don't pick any of them by default, the latest version, which is 2022 version, will be installed for you direct. So you go ahead and then also installation details. If you want to receive them via email, you can put your email there as well. So when you are done with that, just click on install. Okay, just click on install and it's going to have, so you're going to begin the installation process for you. So WordPress is now going to be installed on my site. Okay, so I can easily install WordPress. It's basically going to take three to four minutes to install WordPress on your site. So just wait for that. And this is done. It's going to give you two links, one to the administrator end of this site and then one to the main website. So I can just click on this and then it's going to open this site. So now WordPress has been installed on this site. I can log on to the back end and then continue the process. Whatever I want to do, I can go ahead and then start doing it. I have WordPress and this is the default theme. You can change that. If you want to learn how to design a WordPress site, you want to do anything with WordPress, create a blog, e-commerce, remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification because I share all of that right here on this channel. Till I come away again, remember to turn on post notification. I'll be doing more videos on WordPress. Till I come away.